Hey everybody, I'm Luis Rodriguez and I'll be doing a let's play of a casual game called The Collider. The Collider is made by a studio called Short Break and they're a subsidiary of Techland. Techland is responsible for uh, Dying Light, which should be coming out later this year, and uh, Dead Island as well. Apparently uh, Short Break Studios is their uh, casual game developer who makes games on mobile, like Android and iOS. Um, Short Break has office, or Short Break and Techland. They have offices across Warsaw, um, Vancouver, and a lot of uh, the Netherlands areas. The Collider is a casual racing game uh, themed around being inside a particle collider, like the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider. Uh, the <coughs> similar games to it would be. Um, any pattern rhythm based like movement game uh, some that I found on Steam were Rockets 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 uh, Rock of Ages and I believe the last one was uh, Snubble Truck which looked really interesting actually um, interestingly enough like to my surprise like, I found that uh, uh, there was already videos on the collider which was kind of surprising since uh, it seemed like an obscure kind of game Anyways, we're going to get started now. Alright, so, weirdly enough, it, like, pops you up inside, like, directly with, like, a, a menu for, or a, a leaderboard. And it shows you, like, what people are playing on, uh, whether it's, like, a iOS a device or a Android. Um, I, I appear to be the only one with Steam on this list right now. I imagine it's a little harder to play <laughs> on those using just your fingers to guide, but I'm not sure. Uh, the only options are like uh, sensitivity for mouse and then, um, yeah, sound and music. And you can adjust your speed that you start at. Well, we're going to start at. We're going to start at 100. I guess you got to unlock the rest as you actually reach those speeds. Uh, movement's fairly easy enough. You just you use the mouse uh, to rotate around, and it uh, allows you to aim with the, the reticule. The coins, I guess, give you some kind of like points, allow you to repair and respawn yourself. Um, from what I've seen, you get like three tries. I like the colors: high contrast, bright. The music is really, really awesome. You guys should be able to hear at least a little of it. Reminds me of like Tron uh, legacy music that uh, Daft Punk did for, for that uh, movie. The music doesn't appear to like correlate with necessarily the speed that you're going, but for sure the colors do. Uh, the colors change with each like uh, in increment of 100. Um, the patterns also change of objects you fly through based on like how well you're doing like if you've had to repair already or not um, so you'll see more rotation as you, you do better and and like if you restart like you get more stationary stuff it's a little stress inducing especially like since it just kind of like starts you out like the only tutorial you get really is like use your mouse to move around um, it just kind of throws you into the fire definitely like uh, works well as a casual game though uh, it's addictive and like you want to get further the music's really really uh, catchy too oh awesome 600 I've never seen this color before actually I did play a little before this uh, let's play because unfortunately the first one I attempted didn't record any of the game Unlock 600. Awesome. But we'll go at it again. Uh, starting at 100, of course. I would say I definitely don't like uh, the start, though. Like it's really, really jarring to like just throw you in there.
Your environment is really, really eye catching though. Bright neon colors, like uh, plates that block you off the roof. Pretty high tech. Awesome, awesome music. Alright, we're gonna see if we can crack that 600 barrier. Game's aesthetically pleasing for sure. Gameplay is kept relatively simple. There's actually some like leeway to actually like hitting the holes as well. I noticed. As long as you're like uh, just touching the white outer edges, you're okay. Like they won't like knock you back. It's if you like directly touch like a solid color, you're <laughs> you're screwed. reach 700 I don't know this is like heart-wrenchingly fast it's kind of like stress inducing alright it appears too that uh oh, 700 oh, awesome I will right, give it another run it appears like a uh, like down in the, the bottom left hand corner. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Don't know why that happened. Uh, the bottom left hand corner that uh, right above for my name is a blue bar that correlates to my score. It looks like the total score is an aggregate of uh, speed and um, uh, coins collected during the run through. And obviously they leave it to where like. Uh, in, some holes give you more coins, some give you less, and like some don't give you any at all. Like, I like think you just gotta choose the one you're gonna make it through at that time. That felt awesome. <laughs> as awesome as it looked. <laughs> oh, that was doing so good. Reaching 600 again. I don't know if we're gonna hit that 800 barrier with only one repair left, but we'll try. Go out with a bang. Uh, when I was reading about the game, it mentioned that there was like 10 levels. I assume that the levels are just based on score, and uh, reaching a, a thousand is like that 10th level. All right, that was definitely fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that is the end of this playthrough. Have a good night.